Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another toys to show you. And this is a really iconic pop cultural symbol back in the days. And it might be a lot of people's childhood. So today I present to you the Fantasy Jewel, the Iron Giant. And this is the toy of the Iron Giant from the movie The Iron Giant. So for those of you who don't know anything about the Iron Giant, so the latest appearance of this guy in a movie was in uh, Ready Player One when he was a built mech by Edge, the creator Edge and also he just appeared in the trailer of Space Jam 2 and one thing I gotta say about the design of this guy is this is a really symbolic classic design it represents a lot of the pop culture back in the days and I really enjoy that so what makes this guy special? The thing in my opinion that makes this guy special is that the amount of die-cast metal that he got within himself. So here we have the whole chest section. See that whole chest panel over there, the chest armor. That is full of die-cast metal, which is a lot of die-cast metal. Then we have the die-cast metal in the feet. And all the joints of uh, this guy are made from die-cast metal, which is really impressive. This will ensure that he doesn't get loosened over time. And also it makes him really nice. Also for the bicep and the thigh section, they are die cast piece as well. So that is really impressive in my opinion. I really enjoyed this aspect. To be honest with you, a lot of you have seen this design for like thousands of times. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more interesting in this video. So in this video, I'm actually gonna compare this guy in over the detail section with the diamond select which is like the normal Iron Giant that most people get, in my, I guess. So now let's begin. So here we have the Fantasy Jewel version, which is the taller one next to the Diamond Select versions of both toys. And I'm gonna be frank with you. Um, if we judge on the color alone, I would prefer the Diamond Select versions than the Fantasy Jewel. Because first, the, the color is more movie accurate. And one thing is that because of the smaller size, so you got a lot of highlighted details like for the pin in the chest section they're actually somewhat of a different shape than in the fantasy jewel just a blend in colors so like judging from my angle looking here i would say that the diamond select has a better detail over the fantasy jewel and one more thing is that for the stomach section and for the next section of the diamond select they actually went with a really dark color a darker color for the so like it highlights all the, the overall impression of the robot but rather with a fantasy jewel version they are just the same colors so yeah the highlight and the proportion is in my opinion is better in the diamond select and two more better things about the diamond select version could be the fingers if you show the finger you should see this is a blend colors this is a single color hands without anything but for the diamond select they actually went to the trouble painting the joint so it looks way more better it, detail wise and the last thing about the diamond select version is that they have the LED unit for the light so you just simply this is the button and the light actually light up so I'm going to lower the light in my corners a little bit for you to see and there you go you can see his eyes glowing in the dark right now accessory wise this guy come with a few accessories First, the most iconic will be the S symbol that he put on his to his chest. So to apply that, you just simply slide it underneath the chest over here. Oh, sorry, my bad. Just like that. But to remove it, it is slightly tricky because the thing with the this kind of tab is that it's, they are really easy to break. So you're actually gonna you're gonna put down um, you're gonna remove the whole things piece by piece like that and then you just simply slide this one down so in my opinion this is a really great features because it's prevent from breaking because if you look at the connecting pin itself it is not really good quality plastic and I'm gonna show you the nub for cutting it so see the nub so like this is not a really high quality plastic so they, I really appreciate that they add on this detail the next thing we got is a teeth his jaws over here and it can uh, slide in to his mouth just like that and to do that you're just gonna remove the whole head section just pull the, it out like that and you can remove that and add the jaws in and then you can use with another mouth this is the opening jaw so you see the difference and then put it back 
and you can see he has his teeth right now which is really interesting and one other thing is that he got an alternate head this is for his eyes slightly tearing and it is interesting because this is actually molded up so you can see a little bit of character over there that is really interesting really really interesting so here for the size comparison here we have the Anger next to MP44 Optimus and the leader class which is a Voyager figure Optimus Prime from Earthrise and as you can see he really towers all over the rest of the figures and so now let's move on to some articulation articulation why we start with the head section so he can it's on the double ball joint for the face changing gimmick so he can look up open his mouth look up really far and down and do a full rotation that is really good articulation and for the arms it's on the ratchet joint so that is all the way up all the way down this is the rotation it's on the separate joint so i'm really impressed so like the ball joint that doesn't get any doesn't got into any hinders so he doesn't get any bicep swivel but then the arms below can rotate so that counts he got a single jointed elbow but you can extend that so you get a more articulated bend of the elbow the arm is on a ball joint so it can rotate and it's got another joint here so it actually can move the hands like that or down below he got four fingers and this is the reason why that he got four fingers that i think back in the days they designed non-human characters with four fingers so it's just easier to animate and it doesn't look as scary and so the fingers are on individual joint so one there are two bendable joints and one ball joint the socket for the ball joint is kind of shallow so it does get in the way sometimes like it fell up sometimes but to me that is totally fine and moving on to the torso section he can that, that is on a ball joint right there so he can do what all ball joints can do he got a waist swivel a really tight sweet waist swivel but the nice thing about this kind of design is that nothing get into the ways of articulation and so this is the leg joint so yeah that is pretty limited because it's on a ball joint and so you can kick way up to the front just like that that is really high kick and all the way to the back and that is really tight he got no he got a thigh swivel but they don't even care to do a bicep swivel this is the bend of the knee that is 90 degrees bend and if you and if you there's a section here if you push it then you can get way more articulation i really enjoy that detail I think that is great and flex flexible and really nice engineering. And let's move down to the feet. The feet itself, it, that is whole joint right there is on die cast metal, so that is really nice. And so you got this piston over here, so it does move when you move the feet, and that is really nice. I enjoy that detail. And so this is the you got some toe band, slightly toe band. And you got a really tight and slight pivot and that's just about it so i mean like articulation wise this guy is decent he's decent enough to pull some classic iron giant poses and to me that is enough this guy is nice as himself as a hugely iron giant figures and of course a ton of die cast metal so i would highly recommend this guy over here and why not to like this is beautiful and the price of him is not that ex more expensive than the diamond select version so i would highly recommend this guy for you guys so tell me what you think about this guy in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel give me a subscribe and share this video and also follow me on instagram that's where i do most of my updates and finally if you feel like you can help me out with some future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link is in the description below turn out